Hi. We're here to talk about a basic forced air gas-fired furnace sequence of operations. Now, the sequence of operation is very, very important to us, even all us electricians, for troubleshooting any automated process, not just a furnace. But we're going to look at this basic forced air gas-fired furnace. Uh, we we'll probably won't see many of these in the field anymore, right? They're very, very old and obsolete. But anyways, what happens is all of this, we have to remember, is caused by closed loop control. And what I mean by closed loop control is that wherever it starts, it ends up back there, right? We're going to do a full loop, a full circle back to where we begin. So where it all kind of starts is we could say that our house cools down. Now when the house gets cold, what's going to happen is you are going to see your thermostat contacts, right? Your normally closed thermostat gets cool. Your T-stat closes. So when our thermostat closes, that is going to send a signal right, 24 volts along, and it sends 24 volts into our MGV, or our main gas valve, right? So this is going to open because it energizes. So once our main gas valve opens, our plenum air is heating up. And uh, keeping in mind, it's very important to keep in mind, right? This is only taking place because our thermocouple is in there, proving that flame, right? If the fl if thermocouple wasn't there proving the flame, then that gas valve, the safety gas valve, which is not an electronic component, would actually close, right? So this thermocouple is providing power to that power unit keeping that safety gas valve open. So our main gas valve opens. Then after some time, right, time is going to pass. What is going to happen is it's going to heat up in the plenum. And eventually, our fan control is going to get warm enough. So this is a fan control. And it is going to close the switch. Once the fan control switch closes, our fan, right, which is a motor, energizes. So now that the fan's running, our fan is energized, our main gas valve is open, we're heating up inside the plenum. We are using the fan to blow air past the heat exchanger. It's blowing into our house. And the house begins to warm up. So the house keeps warming up. Once the house gets warm enough, those thermostat contacts are going to open. T stat opens. Well, as soon as the thermostat opens, it is connected directly in series with our main gas valve. So that main gas valve closes because it D energizes. So now that our main gas valve is closed, eventually our plenum begins to cool down. And once the plenum cools down enough, our fan control switch, that normally open switch over here that had closed, that's actually going to fan off because the switch opened. 
Once that switch opens, we see the final step, which is the fan in the system turns off. And, or you could say the fan D energizes. As soon as the fan turns off and de-energizes, again, we see that house start to cool down. So we get that closed loop control, right? And this is happening in the winter a dozen times a day in our house without question. It's just an automated process, right? At no point here does a user have to do anything. The last thing to kind of keep in mind, which is a little bit important, is that all along the process, right, we have our high limit switch. Right? And the purpose of that high limit switch, if it does get too hot in the plenum, it's going to open up and it's going to de-energize that main gas valve, but it's going to allow that fan to keep running is the purpose of that high limit. Well, I hope this was helpful. Uh, please watch the rest of the videos.